On this episode of The Wild Table, we are on the Zigo drifting down the mighty Waikato River. And we are hunting down the bright and colorful invaders, the ever-abundant Koi Carp. And once we have a bin full of fish, we take them straight back to whip up a serving of hot tequila Koi Tacos. Waikato River today and the Waikato River is a generally a very fast flowing river but just in this little corner right here there's a little stretch to the side that's really sort of just meandering along and the koi carp love it because it's, it's shallow water there's a lot of plants and stuff in the water which they can eat and they sort of just mosey on through here so this is one of my personal favorite spots to come and shoot koi carp and um, yeah we're pretty much just gonna drift along with the zigo we're gonna get the drone up in the air a little bit as well show you and we're just going to sort of try and pick off the koi cup as we drift through the, uh, the shallow water. It's one of my favorite things to do. Okay, to the koi cup. There you go. First koi, first shot. I like those odds. <laughs> so as you, we've uh, folded the engine up, because it's quite handy on the Zigo, you can just click the engine right up, so you're not getting caught in any of the weeds. Um, and I just bought this uh, stick here, which is actually, it's actually a paint roller stick from the hardware store, but I'm just using that to sort of barge us through the weeds, um, which means we're making no noise to, to spook off any fish, and we're sort of just gliding along. So uh, just shot a koi, but he's just gone and wrapped himself straight around the freaking log and it's quite deep here, so I actually haven't got any leverage to maneuver myself over there to get him off the log. Oh, it's a big one. Look at that. The koi here are beyond plentiful and easy to spot on top of that. They're bright orange. And still, shooting them with a bow is a challenge nonetheless, especially as they are sitting kind of low today and they can also easily see us and they spook off quite quickly. Nonetheless, I love it. Lazily drifting down the river, no hurry, no pressure and no dramas. These fish are here, always, and no matter what you do, another opportunity to nail a shot is always just around the corner. Just imagine if deer gave you this many chances. Yes. Here we go. He came with his own salad too.
All right, so that was quite a successful little mission. We ended up getting four nice, pretty fat koi into the bin. Um, and so if you haven't watched our channel before, koi are an introduced pest into the New Zealand waterways. There are millions, if not trillions of those fish out there. And so the more of them that you kill, the better. I know that there's lots of guys who go to the river and just shoot lots of them. Unfortunately, that fish tends to get left to the side just to rot. Now, that's not really in accordance with our philosophy. We really like to make the most of the wild foods that, that we harvest, even if it's not the most appetizing looking fish that you can imagine. And these definitely aren't that. However, it has been an ongoing challenge for us to figure out how to cook these fish and make them delicious and enjoyable. So here we have a neatly filleted container of koi carp, which already looks a lot more appetizing than what it did when the whole fish was just sitting here. Um, we've sort of filleted it into these nice little strips that we can cook something with later. Um, but here's something that I want to try. I have read and heard that brining certain game meats and fish in milk helps to a tenderize the meat or fish in this case, but also remove any unwanted flavors. Now, I can't say that I've eaten enough koi to really say whether it has an unwanted flavor per se, but we're gonna try this anyway. So right now I'm gonna fill this container with milk, put a lid on it, and then we're gonna pop the whole thing into the fridge overnight. And then tomorrow, we're gonna cook a nice dish with the brined koi cup. Now, what we're gonna make tonight is we're going to make koi carb fish tacos because what other flavor other than Mexican would be better for a fish like a koi fish? Surely none. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making a nice beautiful salsa. Then we're gonna make a nicely spiced uh, sour cream. Then we're gonna fry the fish and then we're gonna put it all together in a nice delicious taco. Okay, so first thing first, what I want with the salsa is we're gonna have sort of that nice zesty, limey kind of flavor to it. We've got a tomato base, we're gonna have cilantro, garlic, onion, all that kind of stuff going to it. But I also really wanna infuse a little bit of that smoky, uh, slightly burnt capsicum flavor. So behind me here, the Brawl King is just starting up and we're getting a nice base of coal going. What I wanna do is I'm just gonna take these two capsicum right here and just plonk them straight on the coals and just give them a little bit burnt on the outside because that really gets some flavor going. So for the salsa, here we've got a nice base of Base, not based, silly. Base of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna to take those. First thing first, salt and pepper. Then I like to get a little bit of a juicy base going. So here we've got some apple cider vinegar. I'll just give it a dash of that. A little bit more of a dash. We have some diced jalapeno peppers. A little bit of heat. Or if you're like us, a lot of heat. Get them in there. A little bit of diced garlic. Teaspoon of that, boom. Just make sure you're not going on a date after eating this. Or at least force her to eat a te teaspoonful of garlic also. Red, uh, minced red onion. One, two, let's go with three. Next, got a lime. I'm gonna get a little bit of this lime, this zest in here also. A little bit of the lime juice because we need a good nice little base of citrusy juice already got some of that um, apple cider vinegar in there now we get some of that lime juice that works as a beautiful base we've got coriander seed and cumin seed two things that i think fantastic for mexican spice we're going to get a nice couple of teaspoons of coriander seed a couple of teaspoons of cumin seed and then just give that a good bash around here we go and then that can also go straight into the bowl booyah and last certainly not least cilantro or coriander depending on where you're based I can't get enough of this stuff take all that and just give it a good mix around right See what the camera person thinks. Camera person, Chizzy. Of course it's Chizzy. She gave me the thumbs up. Spicy. Good, but like spicy. All right, that is the salsa done. No, it is not, I lie. Because of course, 
I'm burning these capsicums down here and we want them in there too. A little bit of black on there is fine. Dice that up. See a lot of the black stuff actually just comes off. And that burnt pepper or capsicum, depending where you're from again, really adds to the um, overall flavor of the salsa. Just that nice sort of smoky, burny flavor. So that's the thing, we like to cook on fire, you know, so getting a little bit of that fire flavor into the dish, freaking awesome. Okay, next we're gonna get our koi cup drunk <laughs> with sour cream and tequila. Here we go, I have a whole bowl of sour cream. Don't ask me about quantities, I have no idea. It's just a good amount of sour cream. What I'm gonna do is take some salt and pepper, same as before, get that in there. Yep. Then, tequila. About, I want to say loosely about, depends on how happy you want to get with your tacos, I guess. Three or so teaspoons worth of tequila. Next, a little bit of garlic. One teaspoon. A little bit of red onion. One teaspoon. Nah, two teaspoons. Good teaspoon of cumin seed in there. A little bit more. I like cumin seed. Next, I really like Frank's red hot hot sauce, but just choose whatever hot sauce you like. Just get a good dollop of that stuff in there as well. As I said, we like spicy. And then last, a little bit more lime. Lime zest is always a nice, nice additive to uh, fresh little dishes like this one. Got a little bit of lime zest. Take the lime, cut it in half, and add the juice to that as well. There we go. Okay, take the whole lot, mix it up. Okay, now that we've prepared the salsa and the sour cream, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fish, which has been brining in milk overnight, and we're gonna toss it and season it. Because so I'm gonna, just gonna cut this fish into into um, sort of little squares like this. We'll just make it a little bit easier to toss and coat. So once again, salt, pepper. Ooh. Tequila. It's supposed to go for like a, a teaspoon, but hey, let's get this koi cup drunk. Here we go. Tequila. Then I want to add a little bit of Mexican spice. If I had more time, I'd be making this from scratch. Just gonna add a wee bit to it. Quite like working with Mexican spice like that. Just a, a good base. Now, next, lime. A little bit more juice. It just helps everything to stick to the fish. Plus, we get that nice lime, sort of zesty flavor on the fish. There we go. And then, quite simply, toss the fish. There we go. And that's smelling that really, really good. good. It's limey, it's limey, it's zesty, it's tequila mm. It's definitely smelling like something that's gonna taste amazing. So I really, really love cooking food directly over coals or wood, so you get a little bit of that natural wood flavor in there. Tell you what, the flavor is on point. It's limey, it's zesty, it's spicy, and there's nothing off about it whatsoever. If I served this to someone and I didn't tell them that it was koi carp, I think they'd be quite happy. Hmm. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the rest of the fish off the barbecue, put it on here. We're gonna sort of pull it apart and see if we can, can get rid of any of the bones that we might see. And then we're gonna serve this in the taco with the salsa, with the sour cream, and we'll enjoy it. 
It is just an ad adventurous kind of a fish, that koi carp. But we are adventurous kind of people. Now what I really like is that this sour cream has got that like a little bit of hint of tequila in it. It just, I can't say that I'm the biggest fan of tequila, but in food it's actually really nice. So we'll add a little bit of the salsa, a little bit of the green stuff on top, and voila. There we have one koi carb Mexican fish taco. Limey, zesty, fresh. <laughs> oh yeah, I could do that every night. <laughs> Success! Charlie's like, ooh, salt. <laughs> right. Lime. Lime. <laughs> oh my god, what are we, 21? Yeah. <laughs>